there's been a lot of news lately about security breaches, hacks, and ransoms involving MongoDB data stores. In this video, we will cover 10 tips you can use to keep your MongoDB instance secure and your data safe. The easiest way to keep unwanted people out of your database is to simply enable authentication by adding the following lines to the MongoD configuration file. Remember, sometimes the simplest security will make the attackers move on to an easier target. The single most common password used on the web is 123456. It's often easier to keep it simple when developing, but weak passwords is the next weapon of choice for hackers, and since MongoDB does not yet offer a lockout option for multiple attempts, the weak password can be easily figured out in minutes. Not everyone should be an administrator of your database. Just enabling authentication isn't enough. MongoDB has a strong diversification of roles, and setting specific user roles will reduce your risk of an account breach causing a disaster. Enabling the replication key file will automatically enable authentication and will ensure that only the hosts which have the key file present are able to join the replica set. Enabling the key file also ensures that the replication stream is encrypted, providing an extra layer of protection. In the event a hacker does bypass your security and removes your data, always make sure you have access to a recent backup so that you can use your uplog to make a point-in-time recovery from the moment that the attack occurred. Most hackers are only scanning the standard MongoDB ports. MongoDB uses four standard ports when it is deployed. You can easily change the port in the MongoD configuration file. If your MongoDB data store resides on the same hosting provider as your application, it's more than likely you don't need to enable public access at all. You can easily do this by binding the host IPs in the MongoD configuration file. It's always a good idea to make sure the firewall rules or security groups of hosting in the cloud are enabled on your servers. Disallowing the MongoDB port ranges externally will ensure that outside attackers stay outside. The best way to ensure your data is protected is to attempt to penetrate the security yourself. You can do this by testing if any external connections are possible using Telnet on the command line to try to connect to your host. You can also install Nmap on the host and test it against your host to check open ports and your authentication. Finally, there's an audit you can go through to ensure your data is protected. Go through all of your databases in MongoDB and check to ensure that none of your users has excessive privileges. Only you know who should be allowed to do what, and performing this audit will let you see if it's set correctly. For more information on how to secure MongoDB and for more detailed instructions on how to execute these tips, visit severalnines.com forward slash secure MongoDB. But wait a minute, why should you have to do all these steps every time you deploy a MongoDB instance? Would it be great if a free database manager existed that did most of this stuff for me automatically? Meet Cluster Control, your all-inclusive, open-source database management system. In addition to managing MongoDB, Cluster Control lets you manage MySQL and Postgres databases too. It offers automated security, point-and-click deployments, and a developer studio with a suite of advisors to make sure your data is protected. And the Enterprise Edition is a fraction of the cost of other ops managers. Why not try Cluster Control for yourself? You can download it free at severalnines.com.